What is going on guys, my name is Baron of Developer B, and welcome back to episode 28 of the Bucky Coding Tutorial Series. And in this episode, I'm going to teach you guys how to make custom mobs. And pretty much what we are going to do is actually create these mobs and just spawn them in the server. And that's pretty much just going to be the plugin, we're not really going to do anything special. But yeah, so let's go ahead and get right into it. Pretty much how you create... A mob at first is to pretty much just type in the mob and it'll come up like it's just generic names like skeleton creeper and they will appear right there and we are going to create a cool mob we're gonna make a spider first and we're gonna put let's try and put an enderman on top of it that would be really cool actually we're just gonna put a zombie on top of it and do some cool stuff with that so pretty much we are going to go ahead and say bucket dot actually player dot get world dot spawn and this is going to spawn our entity and we just want to put it in the player location like so and then just hit a comma and then type in spider which is just whatever your type is dot class and that will spawn that spider now we are going to create the zombie so we're going to say zombie zombie equals player dot get world and we're just going to do the same exact thing spawn player dot get location and zombie dot class and that will spawn the zombie like so and we can do a ton of things to these we can manipulate what they're wearing uh whether they're glowing or not i think that's a new feature i'm not sure if glowing is a new feature but it looks really cool i've tried it out so now we're pretty much just going to type spider and as you can see a ton of things pop up and what we can do is actually add a passenger and what this is going to do is it's going to put the zombie that we spawned in on top of the spider so it's going to be riding the spider so it's kind of like a zombie spider rider it's really cool and there we go and now we can set the spider we're actually going to do this cool thing where we set it to glowing that's really cool it pretty much like creates a little glow around it and you can see it from far away it's it's pretty cool we're going to do that that's all we're going to do from the spider but the zombie we're going to make this thing look crazy so we're going to get on here and say zombie and we're going to set it to glowing too so just say set glowing to true and then let's see what this does i'm actually going to try this out spider dot set gliding let's see what that does but let's go to zombie and we are going to manipulate the zombies equipment so pretty much we're going to say zombie dot get equipment and then we can go ahead and manipulate this but let's go ahead and say entity equipment equipment and equal that to zombie dot get equipment because that's going to be easier to manipulate from there and then we can just say equipment and we can set a bunch of things set boots we're just going to set the helmet and we're going to create a new item stack of material dot and we are going to set this to a diamond helmet just to make it look cool generic diamond helmet and then go down here we're going to give them a diamond sword so we can set item in main hand we're going to give them a new item stack of material dot diamond sword and as you can see there's a bunch of things we can do you can actually change the drop rate of his items so if you say equipment dot set item you can set the drop chance too it's pretty cool now let's go ahead and actually add another one of those perfect and we're going to set the name. You can actually change the name of the zombie too. So we can go back up here and do this. We're just going to go ahead and say zombie.setCustomName. And we're going to set it to something cool. Chat color dot, color dot green. We're going to call him Richard. Richard the zombie. And then zombie.setCustomName visible. You got to do that to true just to make sure that shows up. So that looks like about it. You can manipulate this and change it into different things, add spawns for them using a config, but this is just the most basic version. I'm just showing you what you can do and how you can manipulate these mobs. So let's go ahead and build this and go ahead and go into the server. So let's go in here. We can say slash reload. We're actually going to set the time. Let's say time set 17, 16,000. It's going to set it to nighttime. And let's go ahead and try this out and see if everything we've done has worked. So type slash zombie. Boom. And as you can see, we got this cool zombie riding on a friggin' spider. And it's got a sword and a diamond helmet. And it's glowing. As you can see, that is the glow feature of it. And let's go ahead and go into game mode zero. 
and see what this does. So, oh god, that thing just killed me instantly. <laughs> but let's go ahead and find this thing again. Oh my god, that thing... That was crazy. But you can see, you can see it from far away, and it'll... It'll come at you fast, I guess. Game mode zero. Let's try this again. I'm in right there. That zombie's got a freaking diamond sword, and I got tons of bobs behind me. I'm gonna kill it. Oh my god. So, thank you guys for watching. That was how to create custom mobs. I hope you guys enjoyed that episode. It was really short, sweet, and to the point. And I will get you guys some more videos coming soon. So, see you guys there.